It is Monday, which means it is leg day. Starting off the week strong with squats. Full disclosure, I'm not feeling it today. So my, my weights might be lighter than normal. It doesn't matter what my weights are. Do whatever weights feels good for you. Ignore whatever number is on my barbell and do whatever is appropriate for you. If you are new at the channel, we do two hard sets in my workouts. That normally means two heavy sets and the other sets are light. But to be fair, in this workout, there's a lot of light work because the exercises are painful. Doesn't mean they're not hard though. Anyway, let's get on with it. Right, I haven't got my fluffy thing. I have no idea where it's gone. So I'm gonna hope that you can hear me over the music. I have done my warm-up sets. We've done two warm-up sets. I've done my warm-up. If you're interested in my warm-up, go watch my week of workouts because I included them in there. It gets a bit repetitive, so I don't want to put it in all the time. So this is the first work in weight. This is actually the first time that I've recorded this new plan and I've actually dropped my volume a little bit. So we're only doing the three sets on squats which is delightful, I'm very pleased. I prefer with squats, I do it the opposite way with deadlifts, but with squats, I start with my light set. Even though I've done two warm-up sets, I just prefer to start with the light set. So we're doing 50 for 10, 50 for eight, I was incorrect. We're doing 50 for eight, and then we're doing 80 for four. But first we're gonna do this one. How hot am I feeling? Should we take my top off? What are we thinking? Yeah, let's take the top off, I'm hot already. Right, we're gonna get the fit sorted before I start. And then we're going to get a song on. I was listening to Chapel Roan whilst warming up, but I don't feel like Chapel Roan works when you're like trying to lift. Let's do Bad Omens. This music starts so quickly, so we're going to have to unhook it quick. My clips aren't on correctly, but it's fine. It's just lightweight, so it's all right. Make sure you're getting your depth. I don't even know if you can see on the camera how deep I'm going. Two more. Lovely. Let's mark it off and strong so we get the rest timer on. As I always say, three minutes rest if we're trying to put on muscle. Any less than it's cardio. We're not doing squats for cardio, we're doing it for muscle. So three minutes rest. But we'll use that time to put the weights on. What do I need? Right, that's 80 on the bar. For squats, there are many different ways we can do squats. I am doing full depth and power lift type style, which means it's like your typical squat. Like if you look at the side of me, I'm going down like this. That equally works the quads as much as the glutes. If you want to do squats just for your glutes, I've seen this is from Brett Contreras' lips. So if you don't agree, don't fight with me. Fight with Brett Contreras. See, he gets a lot of jip for it, so... Give him the jip, not me. If you're wanting to do these for glutes, instead of going kind of like down, you want to feel the stretch in your bum. So you want to kind of like sit back and keep your shins as upright as possible. So sit back into it like that and then not go as deep. Because obviously when I'm squatting, I'm going down here. That's going to make it more quads. But you want to sit back, stretch your glutes as much as possible if you just want it for your glutes. I also would like to grow some quads and I prefer I tried it a few weeks ago using the sitting back method and I just didn't like it as much so I'm doing it combo of the both so I can grow some legs as well anyway I still got a little bit of rest to go so I'm gonna take a breath we're on to the heavy set I did eight for three last week and then eight for four but like I say I'm not feeling it so if we don't get eight, 80 for I said eight, didn't I? This is more than eight kilos. But like I say, I'm not feeling it. So if I don't get three or four, it's not the worst thing in the world. It's not a PB. I think my PB is 90. Yeah, my PB is 90. So it should be fine. But if I don't get it, we're all good. It doesn't matter. Some weeks we have off weeks and we're not going to get it. And that's fine. I'm hoping it's not going to be an off week, but maybe it is. Who knows? We'll see. Right, for this one, I, I, I do need good music. My go-to song for heavy lifts recently has been Centipede by Knife Party. So we'll stick with that and we'll see how it goes. Okay, easy. We're going to breathe through the tummy and that'll be fine. It's not even a PB, so I don't know what I'm getting stressed about. I just want three. Easy. Come on, feels nice, let's go. <sighs> Come on, then one more, we can do this.
Okay, I need to sit. Hang on. <sighs> that depth was questionable. I've had some really odd music on. I don't know if you can hear what that is, but that's Panic at the Dying. Panic at the Disco, Nelly Witches. It's not Nelly Witches, what is it? Hurricane. It's Hurricane. Hurricane is not a popular song. And that's my favourite Panic album. Obviously, I don't listen to Panic at the Mo Panic anymore because Brendan Urie's a piece of... But it's quite nice being able to hear it without feeling guilty because I haven't chosen this. I haven't put any money in this. And this is one of my all-time favourite albums. Anyway, I got five. I don't know how that happened. I don't know why that happened, but I got five. I think it might be because my depth was questionable. I will watch the footage back and decide if I'm being ridiculous counting those reps. Obviously, you don't have to do full depth. I prefer full depth. I 100% feel it more in my glutes when I do full depth. So I just, I like to do it. But I will review and see if I have to go deeper and then I'll probably go back down to three reps instead of five. I don't think I'm gonna put the weight up. I'm good with sticking where it is and working on depth. So I'm gonna have my three minutes rest and then we'll go again. I have reviewed and I, it wasn't the best angle, but I'm gonna say that that depth was actually okay. So I got five reps on that, which is awesome. I, whilst we're talking about squat form really quickly, I would like to note I am 5'8". So if you are a 5'3", king, queen, whatever, your squat's gonna look a lot different than mine, okay? So don't look at mine and be like, crap, I need to lean over more. I'm 5'8", gal, and I mean that in the most gentlest way possible. I'm 5'8". I'm gonna lean over way more than you, and if you're taller than me, you're gonna lean way, you're gonna lean over way more than me. So let's just not be like, Ugh, about a squat, okay? Have a little Google, or I can talk about it in a separate video if we all want to. Comment below if you want that. Squats are gonna look different on different people. Have a little Google and see what yours is meant to look like, or what you feel best doing. But this is gonna look different if you're a different height to me. And also just because like that's the way I prefer to squat. But anyway, we need another good song on because I'm gonna attempt four. It felt easy, so it's gonna be fine. And we're gonna do it quickly because people might want the Smith machine, which you are firmly in. Short of the bane of my existence, I swear to God. Come on, let's go for another one. Breath. I got five again. Buzzing with that. Over the moon. Okay. I got five again. Awesome. So that since last week, my volumes went up 25%. 25%. We're not going to get that every week, and that's fine. I'm going to have two minutes, then I'm going to put all this away, because we put away our weights, and then we're going to go move on to the next exercise. Okay, right, we are doing RDLs. If you have been around since my last plan, I was doing single leg RDLs. Fancy doing double leg RDLs. So we're doing it. I am, however, still doing the weight that I was doing with single leg. I should have put it up, but I am still like working on this. Last week felt really, really good. So I think I am gonna put the weight up. I'm doing 16. We have, however, got straps because I'm doing 20 reps. My grip won't, I don't know about yours, but my grip won't last for 20 reps. So we're using straps. If you don't own straps, I'd recommend getting some because for some lower body workouts, for some lower body exercises, we can lift way more than what our grip can deal with. My grip gives up way before my glutes gives up for this exercise. So straps is gonna stop that from happening. It still helps to work on your grip, but these, way better. Quick little preface, this is, we're doing RDLs, okay? We're not doing, oh my God, stiff legs. I was gonna say sumo, that wasn't correct. We are not doing stiff leg deadlifts. The music seems to have gotten louder, so that's fun. We are doing RDLs, which is a different exercise, okay? So with these, we're trying to feel the stretch in our glutes, not so much our hamstrings. So when you're doing an RDL, trying to stretch our glutes, okay? When we are doing hamstrings, we're trying to stretch our hamstrings and that's gonna go way further back and we're gonna let the weight drift forward and go really, really deep. For RDLs, we're going just below our knees and we're focusing on stretching the booty. 
I don't know what's going on with the lighting. I might do a little short on how to wrap these up correctly. So look out for that if you're not sure how to wrap them correctly. But we're going to do my set. Like I said, we're doing 20 reps. We're probably going to up the weight and then do less reps. But we're doing 20 reps. We're feeling the stretch in our glutes. Yo, stretch. And then up. Don't go too low because then it's going to be your back. And pull up through your bump. Oh, God, last one. Oh, honestly, they're feeling so good. I don't even want to up the weight. Oh, you know when something's just feeling like so good and you just don't want to touch the weight because you're worried that it's going to feel crap if you up the weight? That's what I'm getting. But I do feel like it's too light for me. Two kilos isn't going to do anything surely and if it does we can always go back down the 18s are available so i feel like that's my sign that i should be doing 18s like i always say wipe down your equipment yesterday i saw somebody on the cables in this gym sneeze into his hand and then touch all of the cables which was delightful fully sneezed in his hand and then changed the weight and then carried on doing his workout so clean your stuff. We're going to try for 20 reps again, but with 18. So we have went up. Halfway through and I'm feeling good. Oh, come on, Jimmy. Yeah, that felt good. It felt good. I got 20. So really I need to up the weight. But do I want to? No. I'm feeling good on this weight. So I think I'll just keep it at 18. And then next week we'll go up to 20. Ideally I want my rep range down for this because my next exercise is actually quite high rep as well. So ideally I want it to really I want it to be down like 10. And this is double that. But never mind. Alright, I'm gonna do one more set and then we'll move on. Okay, if you couldn't tell. We are now doing hip thrusts. This is a, um, there's not really a good way to sit on this, but I can't really put the camera any further back. So we've got this weird ass position. I have to apologize to this machine because I have sh shit talked it for forever. See, like where can I go? Yeah, I've shit talked it for a really, really long time. I used to tell people there was no point in it. I used to tell people it was terrible. I now like it. There's been a lot of studies out recently. I'm a studies gal if you can't tell, but there's been a lot of studies recently talking about how important it is to get a like, stretch in the glutes when you are doing different exercises. Like I said, in the squat, like I said, in the RDL. Again, Brett Contreras, we talk about him a lot here because he is the glute guy and he is also a, like a scientific glute guy. He does research papers, so he is important. But he has been talking about how it might be more important to do more on the machines rather than the barbell because you you can get a better stretch in this and I just wanted to mix it up I've been doing it hip thrusts on the barbell for like over a year so I thought I'd give this a try and it, it, it's good I also gave the rotisserie hip thrust a try which I'll pop over the top of this showing how you can do it in a gym without a rotisserie set up and that also felt good but I felt bad because I was using the barbell twice in one workout so we're doing this for this workout like I said this is high rep because it hurts we are doing eccentric focused okay which is why we're doing low weight high rep so you're going down for four and then you can go however quick you want on the way back up so literally lowering for four going all the way down i actually hit the stop on this because that's where we're getting the stretch and then pushing up through your glutes please don't just push up through your back use your freaking glutes that's what we're trying to work unless you are trying to work your back and then do whatever you want so i do this with no weight i think this weighs 22 yeah 22 kilos but we're doing it for 15 reps and last week i felt like oh no 18 reps and last week i felt like i was going to throw up after so give it a try before you're like 22 kilos it wrecks okay i just heard someone say i don't know if you heard it on the microphone i just heard someone say that bench press doesn't hit your chest that is incorrect. I actually feel like if you're in a gym that has a one that looks like this, because there are so many iterations of this, if you don't have one, just do barbell, you're fine. Or rotisserie, because honestly, it felt really good. But I actually feel like the, what are you gonna call this? The platform? The platform isn't wide enough for what I want, but I'm focusing more on this with turning my feet out. So I'm not putting my heels on the edge. I'm putting my toes right at the edge, like right at the edge. And then putting my heels wherever I want them for like how outturned I'm gonna. You wanna put your 
shoulder blades balanced on the edge of this so don't be here and also don't be like can i even do it like there that's too low you're gonna balance your, your shoulder blades on this okay <laughs> i don't want to do this hang on also when i see people setting this up for the first time it starts at the top so get in a position you push up and then that falls off so it starts at the top right slow 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 fast See what I mean? Slow at the top. All the way at the bottom. And then fast. Pushing your knees out. Squeeze your bum. Your bum is pulling it up. It's all through your glutes, not your quads or your back. Oh, okay, 10. Oh, I hate these. Come on, keep going. You got the camera watching you. Oh. One more, one more, one more, one more. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, that actually horrific. Oh. Yeah, I don't think that's going up this week because, oh my god, I'm actually so out of breath from them. They are so good, but bloody awful. Have I got a glute pump though? Can you even see my bum? Who knows? I can't see myself at all. Hopefully there's a glute pump to prove how good these are. Right, again, we are doing this for three reps, three reps, three sets, and then we have one more exercise, and that's for five sets. I'm enjoying lowering my volume though, my quicker, my workouts are so much quicker, like so much quicker, so I'm happy. And then I think we might do some walking after this, because I haven't done any cardio in like three weeks, because of it being my birthday and then the era's tour and Last week I was just dead, dead to the world. Couldn't do anything. I'm still feeling like that today. You should be really, really proud of me that I'm here and filming. It took me two hours to get the motivation this morning, but I got here and that's what counts. Right, last exercise, seated hamstring curl. Like I said, it's five sets, but it's kind of not five sets at the same time. We do, so we're doing two hard sets, then a drop set then two light sets. I have been struggling with this the last few weeks. I think I've dropped like three reps. We're doing 45 kilos. Last week I did eight. Eight and I failed on my ninth and then I did seven and I failed on that eight. So it's not going well but I hate seated hamstring curls so never mind. We needed some hamstring work in here and lying leg curls worse so we're doing seated. There are some kids being super loud next to me so I apologize if you can hear them. I'm gonna get eight, nine if we're lucky. Squats went really really well so let's hope that this goes really really well. I'm gonna wait for the drop in the music because that means it will be successful. 50% better chance if you do it to the drop of your music. That's what I've heard. Oh. We're gonna ignore my form. Ignore it. Your back should be on the back of this. Not what I've just done. Your form can be a little bit more questionable on your hard sets. That's what the light sets are for, to work on your form. Two minute rest, and then it's the drop set. Here we go, so I want eight, but last time I got seven, but we're getting eight, and then straight down. So 45 for eight, and then 27 for 10. No doubt about it, that's what I'm getting. Easy, don't even think about it. Just get it down. <laughs> Come on, two more. Yes, got it. Straight off. Right, go. Halfway, come on. Two more, come on. Oh. 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 <laughs> Whoa, the lactic acid buildup is real. Let's mark that down. I did get eight and then I got ten. Two more sets of this and then I might do some walking. I haven't entirely decided yet. We're just sticking with the 27 and I think I got 13 reps. Who are them? And then I'm done. Okay, I am on the treadmill. Proof. I've mentioned it before. I don't really do cardio or anything for weight loss purposes. I mainly do it for fitness and just general health and I 
I'm quite sedentary throughout the rest of the day, so I'm just getting in some steps. I do do cardio, but it is mainly for hiking. I just want to get my cardio better because we normally do a few more hikes in the summer and I don't want to be out of breath the entire time. No cardio a day, just doing some steps. I will probably be on here for like 15 minutes. I normally do my Duolingo during that time and watch TikToks to pass the time. That's my main thing. I used to watch YouTube, but I don't really have any YouTubers I'm enjoying watching, but I just do anything to pass the time really. I did 20 minutes walking and I ended up doing my Duolingo just on TikTok. That session went way better than I was like expecting it to, which shows ignore your mood before you go to the gym and just go, just go, ignore your mood. Doesn't matter if you don't feel it, you could still have a good session. Let's see how long that took. Well, I haven't finished it yet. So this was literally like from the start to getting in the car, I think was an hour and 50. And that's including 20 minutes of cardio, steps, whatever, and me filming. So I always say like, take like 15 minutes off because obviously I've got to move the camera, get the setup. I chat to you guys for too long. So it's probably about an hour and a half that workout, which is good. It's probably less than that, to be completely honest. I just mess about. I feel like it's a lovely, well-rounded workout. I'm really pleased with it. Like we've got quads at the beginning, then we've got glutes, and then we've got hamstrings at the end. But obviously you could add in if you want to put anything else in and take out. This is, this is, this work, this video, is for you to do whatever you want with it. Use it as a base, do it exactly as I've done it. Completely your call. If you have any questions about any of the movements or the workout as a whole or anything in the gym, if you wanna see that little short about how to put straps on, let me know. This is workout one of four. So the rest will be coming. So make sure you subscribe if you already aren't. Any engagement you could give me, I would very much appreciate as I'm on a mission to get to 5K. But even if you don't do any of that, thank you for watching. Thank you for making it to the end. I shall hopefully see you in another video. Bye.